Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to look at the Pro Acryl base set from Monument Hobbies. Uh, if you know the channel at all, you know I'm a big fan of several of Pro Acryl's paints. And we're going to do a little test today on some of these base set colors. And in order to make our decision about which five paints to go with, our helper here, Neil, is going to pull five random paints out of our Pro Acryl box. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the honors and pick our first color. Well, all right, you, can you read that one? You're trying to read it sideways. S. It's the little word at the bottom. Green. Green, awesome. All right, so that's our first color. Go ahead and pick the next one. And it looks like camel green. Another one. Oh, it's a pretty one. What's that one say? Purple. Purple, nice. Two more. Golden yellow. Golden yellow. Ooh. Blood. A version of red, right? I'll bring it up here and I'll look at it real quick. All right. Bold Imperial Red. Nice. All right. So we got our five colors. So now I know uh, what I need to use for our next step. So thank you, Neil. High five. Thumbs up. You rock. All right. Let's get to work. So now that we have our five colors, we needed five models to paint. And so I went with the five Catapult K2s I had sitting around waiting for paint. Figured this would be the perfect opportunity to put them to work. Started with an airbrush. We need to hit it with a nice white base coat. I figured that would be the best way to um, let the colors shine. And so coated each of the mechs with uh, a nice white primer. Once they were ready and primed, it became a matter of hitting them with each of the colors. Uh, and instead of airbrushing them, I figured I would use a brush just to show a more general experience with using the paint. Um, and then right off the bat, I think you can see it here with the red, just very, very bold color. And the pigment is great good coverage even over white. I was a little worried with the red. That sometimes if you go red over white it can look a little pink. But in this case this red was uh, very very solid even with just one coat. So I'm quite impressed by that. So with each of the catapults one by one we hit them with the various colors the darker green, the lighter green, the yellow, and the purple. And slowly built up that first base coat. In all four of them, the coverage was great. The lighter green was probably the, the biggest challenge to go over the white. I mean, just a lot of it showed through. Um, but after going back over it with some touch-ups, it... Uh, looked great just like the others in the bunch. The purple was very much like the red um, just covered one coat coverage uh, and I didn't have to thin these paints down I, and I wanted to do them to kind of just straight out of the pot um, to show what they were capable of doing without any any thinning and there were no no lines um, and now everybody has their own kind of mixture for a consistency that they prefer. Um, but what comes out of the Pro Acryl bottles is just about perfect for me. Um, so I don't have to do any thinning uh, for those base coats. After that, we hit each mech with a wash appropriate for its color. So usually the Army Painter Quick Shades, at least for four out of the five, and the yellow got uh, a Citadel wash. Cassandra yellow. If you've done any Imperial Fists, you, you know that uh, yellow wash well. Afterwards, hit them with some dry brushing, uh, various appropriate colors. 
just to pull out the edges, give it some highlights. And sure enough, all five were ready to go for some detail work. Once that was done, decided I would choose another color, a sixth color here for some accenting. So they're going to be standing on a, an icy base and this light blue seemed quite perfect. It just about matches the dry brushing I did on the, the bases themselves and so that made it easy. Really incorporates the mech into the base and brings the mechs out into uh, life. So here we are, the final result for the five mechs with five colors. I think they turned out really well. Um, even after the wash, the, the colors were bright and bold. So if you're looking for that kind of base coat paint uh, that's going to um, stay bright and uh, not, not get too dark or not get washed out, um, then Pro Acryl is uh, going to make you happy. Overall, I'm really happy with Pro Acryl and, and these colors from the base set, the 24 colors, uh, are going to um, be used quite often as we move forward here. It's always nice to have another jar of uh, bold titanium white too because I go through that on pretty much everything. So overall, really impressed with the set. I'll wrap this up. Be awesome. Make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow.